So thank you so much, Sisa, for calling. I uh, just very much am excited about you know the change in our community and wanted to get feedback as well as testimonial from um, community members who have tried the African herbs and roots and see how it worked out for them. Well, thank you very much, Brother Samba, for including me in the testimonials. Um, I truly would like to um, tell the community how wonderful the products that I've tried has been to me. Um, I had actually used the shea butter, and by your recommendation, um, you being the expert that you are, uh, suggested that I use um, the sea salt and the shea butter together. I had some slight swelling in my ankles, and because I'm a professional dancer, I, you know, that was uncomfortable for me at times. So um, I did use the um, shea butter with the sea salt. I put it on in the evenings, um, rubbed those areas, and sure enough, I woke up in the morning, um, and the swelling was gone. Oh. So I, <laughs> I, I appreciate that, and so that's what I do. I just put my little socks on after I put the, um, <laughs> the uh, mixture together and put it on. And so that's really beneficial as far as therapeutic. But I also like the shea butter because it uh, moisturizes the skin. It's a lot better than the westernized lotions that we would go to the store and purchase. You know, I know they have a lot of bath and body lotions or they have lotions at all these other stores. You go to Target. But something from the motherland, something that's earthy, that is... Um, soaked into our skin and our body uh, to me it feels a lot more pure it feels rich on my skin I even put it on my lips you know as a moisturizer and then um, Samba I also used your tea uh, the tea and I went and bought a kettle and actually purchased one for my friend wonderful yeah Minister Norma and um, so I thought, hey, let's let's try this. Now that was a recommendation to control high blood pressure. And I would much rather use the natural herbs than take uh, pharmaceutical medications. So I've been doing that all week and I've been monitoring my blood pressure because I have a unit at home. And it has been um, normal. So I appreciate your friendship and your um, advice. I take it seriously. I take my health seriously. And now that I've found your store, um, I will be a frequ frequenting, uh, being a frequent <laughs> patron of your store. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. Basically, this store is our store. That's our community store. Um, I mean. Minnesota has opened up my eyes because when my daughter was born here with all those health issues and Western society had done their share but had come up short by not being able to recommend to me what I know best, which is to connect with the nature, with connect with earth. And when I asked for all of these, there were no referral network that they could send my way. So mm -hmm. it, it didn't leave me any other option but to go ahead and create it for the community. And let alone, we, with many of the diseases that basically I've been hearing here in Minnesota, that black people have this, black people have that, mm -hmm. black people are susceptible of this, susceptible of that. I'm like, well, wait a second, how come these black people are different from my black people? <laughs> So I'm like, well, let me, let me bring these because if I'm a black person and this heal me, heal my daughter, heal my wife and those who are still back in West Africa, this would very well heal my black families here in Minnesota. And uh, to hear you say all of those things, it just reminds me of basically my aunt or my cousin or my sister or my next door neighbor uh -huh. just getting out in the morning outside in the, in the backyard or in the neighborhood just going about their day, knowing that, yeah, everything is working quite well with their, with their body, their skin, their internal, external parts. So, um, mm -hmm. and the high blood pressure, you know, what we use as supplement, in fact, we use this every day in our daily diets. Mm -hmm. That's the Seho tea. 
not only it's a spiritual but also it's a holistic it's a it's a multi-purpose plan that's so sister from you also is price wise do you think this would meet our community economic standing ground right now in able to get this in their homes oh yes okay. yes uh, i'm glad you brought up the economic factor um because again a lot of times when we go to the uh, traditional stores the prices are quite steep yours are very reasonable um and again it makes me want to be able to purchase other things while i'm there I, you've got beautiful clothing. Um, I've purchased the Daga Daga seed for oh. my um, my um, uh, keychain and um, beautiful necklaces. And uh, you know, I mean, I'm so glad that a friend of mine, you know, Jimmy, introduced me to you and the store. Just the spirit that you bring with the items um, is a pleasure. You know, walking in, you feel a presence of being welcomed it's like being at home for me um the drums the music um it's all uh it's all encompassed in who we are as a people you know you go into some department stores to purchase things and you don't really see yourself you don't find yourself you know when i come to your store i'm there i'm everywhere i'm in the products i'm in the clothing i'm in the jewelry I see a reflection of who I am. My essence is within your building there. And that's what makes me feel good about spending my money there. Because I feel like it's just recycling back into my family. Right. <laughs> you know, you. And you know, another thing, brother, there's, there's a difference between coming into something that is our own and then going into a store and having people stare at you or ogle you or follow you or think that you're going to um, um, uh, be, you know, victimize them, you know? Are you gonna steal something from them? I mean, just the, the uncomfortableness of that environment it's not conducive to us. Why would I spend my money in a place where someone's going to follow me around and just assume mm -hmm. that I'm untrustworthy, you know? Um, piggyback on what you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. That is a very awesome concept and observation that you have as a black man from Africa. Although I was born and raised in North Minneapolis. Mm. So my experience might be different than your experience um not discounting your experience because i think it's it's a beautiful um concept and and rightfully so i mean that some of that might be true but there has been studies and proven mm -hmm. um samba mm -hmm. and that it is a misjustice there is um an unequal uh, presence when a person of color comes into an environment and, and another person of um, European descent comes in. Hmm. We are treated differently. And I don't know if it's the God that they see in us or because this perpetual mistrust has been seeping through society's status quo. So um, I'll leave it at that, but I just want to put that out for food for thought. Um, it's a beautiful concept, what you said, but everybody's not buying into that. Mm. And, and what I'm saying is when I come into shops that look like me, that feed me um, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, I don't get that type of treatment. I don't get that uncomfortable looking over my shoulder, can I help you, can I help you, can I help you type of mentality, you know? It's different. It's just different. Like I said, I'm from Minnesota. Empowerment, black social economic um, power has been something that since day one, I'm hearing black people, these black people that, and we're not poor. We're not even close to being poor, but we are fighting or trying to compete with somebody else's item. Africa is still rich extremely rich and high so much potential like the current government is talking about africa has tremendous tremendous 
business potential. And for me to do this and show that, yes, we can get this product and raise it up. I want my brothers and sisters to see that, yes, the prices has been lowered down so that they can market up to a level where they can see economic gain for themselves. Job creation in both Africa and the United States. Africa has tremendous business potential. I have so many friends going to your countries trying to get rich. I congratulate you. They're spending a lot of money. We have a lot of black wealth here. Um, and if we pull it together um, and uh, invest into you know, ourselves, I believe we'd come out ahead, not just your store and your franchising, but, you know, uh, there might be another brother or sister, right. you know, right. uh, creating a business that we can be patrons for them. Absolutely. So, you know, and, and your store is a gathering place too, a meeting of the minds. I, I enjoy just being able to come and have a cup of tea and share, you know, stories and listen to the drums. So, um, but I, I really thank you so much for inviting me to to communicate with you. Um, I know that time is short, and I um, I just wanted to be able to to say a little something to encourage you, brother, and to um, you. sing your praises. Thank you. You're doing well. Thank you. You know, stay focused and and, um, and never lose the zeal and the desire and the passion that you have Thank you. to help us as a family and as a people. I appreciate it. No, you said we, we are families. We mm -hmm. are family. And uh, mm -hmm. our ancestors maybe is just sending me yeah, to reconnect because we are families, yes. whether we yes. acknowledge it or not, or not, whether we recognize it or not, whether it was told to us or not, we are families. Families stay together. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Well, you brothers have a wonderful evening. Thank you. So I pray your blessings Thank and you. uh, peace, love, and joy. Amen. Okay. I mean, I mean. Thank you, sister. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless Good you. Night. Bye bye.